Today I am unboxing and building the new R2-D2 LEGO set. Curiously enough, it does not fall under the Ultimate Collector Series banner, unlike the Maz Eisley Cantina behind me, or the original R2-D2 set that was released in 2012. It is somewhere in kind of a gray area in between. Its release does fall under the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm, so it does get a sticker to reflect that on the display with the minifigure. Now concerning the 2012 version, I don't actually have that one, which is one of the main reasons why I got this one. But there are a few noteworthy differences between the two that I'll be sure to point out in my review just using photos and general knowledge as well. So let's get right into it and open up everybody's favorite joy companion, R2-D2.
And there you have it, everybody's favorite droid, R2-D2. Now, this one was a bit of a challenge. As you saw from the video, the inside is pretty much all uh, Technic framework and the mechanism that lets the middle leg drop just like that. Now, that can be a little nerve wracking because if you mess something up or something doesn't align upright, then you have to pretty much start over once you realize that you messed up. And in fact, I did mess up a couple of things, which um, thankfully wasn't the Technic part, but actually I just put the legs on backwards. I put this one on the right instead of this one on the left, and you know, I managed to fix it, and luckily it was an easy enough thing to fix. But just because of that, it was very nerve-wracking to put together, also because part of the time I'm looking around the camera while I'm building it, or looking through the lens while I'm building it, so I always don't have that great of a vantage point when I do these videos and put these sets together. So that just added to the challenge. And it was a really good challenge because I enjoyed myself immensely while putting this together. Just seeing how everything was going to come together and how it was going to work, what parts were going to go where. It was just, it was a ton of fun and I really enjoyed it. Now, is this a great version of R2? This is personally my first version of R2 set that I've ever gotten. In 2012, he had another buildable set. He's also appeared in a Technic set and a couple of the um, robotic sets as well. None of those I've ever gotten. So as far as able to physically compare them, for me, this one was really fun and really well put together. There were a couple things I thought I had a problem with, but as I explored the set, I discovered that they weren't as big of a problem as I thought they would. If I had one thing to complain about, it is that the sensor scope part in the back has no way to stay up. So you're left turning it yourself or just even holding it up, which is kind of disappointing. I feel like there's something they could have done to put in there to help hold it up, but unfortunately, no. Uh, otherwise, I think the lightsaber this just feels way too small for me. I don't think it's the right scale. If there was a Luke figure that was the same size as this R2, it just, it wouldn't work. It would be too tiny in his hands. But that's a, that's a minor complaint. Now, something that I thought was a problem that turned out to not be were the arms that pop out like so. Now, like this, they look very small and that was my main issue it was like he can't even barely reach past it he's gonna have to be right on top of something if he wants to interact with it but lego in all their cleverness realized that you can pull these out and there's a little uh piece in there that holds it from popping out all the way which lets him get a little bit more reach with them and enough so that i was happy with it so now you are too can interact with anything that he wants to in comparing this to the 2012 version, I do think the dome has been drastically improved. It's not as afflicted with studs as much as that old version was. This one's a little bit more smoother. Even though it's not a perfect dome, it is pretty darn close. And I think they did a great job of improving upon that. If I had anything else to complain about, it is it is this. Lego, if you ever happen to watch this video, please switch these out for printed pieces. Having to stress over the placement of a sticker on a $100 plus set is just annoying. I will gladly pay $5, $10 more just for a printed piece so I don't have to deal with that worry. Because it is just a pain. Especially when you include this printed piece that I honestly do not care about. I'd rather have gotten just this so that way I knew it was going to look perfect and not have to worry about it being thrown off just because my hands got shaky. So please, Lego, switch these out for printed pieces. It's been a long time coming. We desperately want it. And of course, on these bigger sets, the instruction booklet is nice and thick. And it's got some nice little blurbs about R2 and about the character and his appearances in the movie. I would have liked something a little bit more about the model itself and the design and just like an interview with uh, whoever made it because it is a fantastically well-designed model. Just the mechanism for the middle leg itself is just amazingly impressive. As you're putting it together, I was just blown away by how everything interacted. And as somebody who's not great with Technic models, it just, it blew my mind. I thought it was fantastic how it all worked together and getting this dome to look as great as it does. It's just, it's great. It's uh, very impressive. 
So kudos to the designer of this model. It was well done, very well done. So if you like Star Wars and if you love R2-D2, I would say definitely pick this set up. It is a real challenge to put together. He looks great. He's a big model. It's going to look great up on your desk or on your shelf. He's got tons of little fun little things to play around with. Uh, lots of movement. The third leg is great. And it's just an awesome set. Definitely pick it up once it gets back in stock. It is well worth the time and effort to put together. Now, I've got an update if you happen to have watched my Children of Thanos video and stayed around for the end of it to discover the issue I had with my Corvus Glaive figure having a broken finger. I sent a message off to Hasbro asking if I could maybe get another one, but of course, since it was an exclusive set, they don't have any they could possibly send me, and they weren't about to send me the whole set since it's constantly going either in and out of stock or just completely sold out. But they did say they would send me something that fell into the price range of $40 or $50, so I did appreciate that, even though it still leaves me with a broken figure, it's something. The gesture's appreciated. I figured worst case scenario was I would end up with another squirrel girl on a scooter that they just can't seem to get rid of. However, I was pleasantly surprised to get this in the mail. And when I got this, I had no idea what it was. It was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive set. It was part of the Marvel Studios first 10 years wave. And it is of the Red Skull and an electronic Tesseract. And it's numbered zero in the Marvel Legends. All of those 10 years figures had a number associated with them. So, uh, I have never really seen the inside of this. It's a set that I have almost no knowledge about. I was really surprised to get it. I looked up the original price and it was somewhere in the $120 set. So it was priced at the same price as the Children of Thanos set that I got. So that was even more of a shock. So thank you Hasbro. I appreciate you sending me this to make up for the one finger broken off of my Children of Thanos set. It was a great surprise. So for my next video, I'm going to be opening up this as well as a few other of the Marvel first 10 years sets that I have gotten over the years. I don't have all of them. There's a couple of them I just don't have any interest in, but I do have a handful that we can open up and take a look at as well as this set for the first time. So uh, keep your eyes out for that. That one may come out next Saturday, maybe a couple of weeks from now. Who knows? Kind of depends upon my work schedule. But I appreciate everybody who's been tuning in and watching these, as well as a nice jump of subscribers. Thank you guys. Be sure to comment below and let me know what you thought of this R2, if you put them together yourself, what your thoughts on them are. And um, until then, stay safe. Happy hunting.